Today, Robert Brino, Jacob Trovato, Jake Orndorff, and myself, Nick Testoni, bringing the story of Jackie Robinson, with a special thanks to Roger Holcomb. To start this Jackie Robinson story, we have to start in Brooklyn, where Dodgers general manager Branch Rickey was looking for a way to improve his team. The year, 1946. I need an X Factor that will take this team to the next level. The Negro Leagues. <laughs> Brand Tricky, Brooklyn Dodgers, general manager. I need you on this team. Okay. Jackie played a short time in the minors, but it wasn't until he got called up to the Dodgers that he realized the true barriers ahead. Guys, I, I got this petition. The Dodgers just signed Jackie Robinson. What? <laughs> Let me sign that. Why is he on the team? Right off the bat, Jackie was neglected from locker room chat. We did a pickup there so many times. Ah, it was terrible. It was horrible. What's up? But it didn't stop there. Even out on the field, practice was a hassle too. Even during games, Jackie was heckled with heinous comments from the fans. Now batting, number 42, Jackie yeah, Robinson. Go back down! Get out of here! Go back down! Hey, uh, let me get time here, please. Worst of all, opposing teams treated Jackie very hostile, even with his quiet demeanor. All right, so right here, hit this guy right in the head. Don't miss. After various hardships, Jackie would finally receive some appreciation from teammates, most notably one shortstop, Pee Wee Reese. What's wrong? They just, they just don't like me. You suck too. I like you. As the 1947 season continued, Jackie began to play more confidently, and so did the Dodgers. Jackie Robinson's success led to the involvement of other black baseball players in the league soon after, such as future teammate Roy Campanella, 
the two would go on to enjoy fellow All-Star selections. Hey, Mr. Robson, Roy Capanella. I'm on the team. Uh, You're a great inspiration. It's great, it's great, it's great. Jackie would lead his Dodgers to an NL pennant, the first in years. He would also go on to win the inaugural Rookie of the Year award. Jackie Robinson's bravery during that 1947 season paved the way for integration of not only African American ballplayers, but for players of all ethnicities around the world. Just